got up this morning, I was in prayer, and God began to visit me about Noah and remembering Noah. And I just get a sense that this is our God is really remembering Noah, those who have a, a, an encounter in a sense that's in the flavor of what Noah has gone through. Building a ministry and through some schools of thought, it is said that it took a hundred years for him to build that ark. And many have been laboring and you've been building and you've been um, just praying stuff fastly on. And I can imagine Noah in his day suffering ridicule from uh, people, mockers from people looking at him building an ark. What does it make sense for you to keep on uh, working in this ministry, Noah? What does it make sense for you to keep on writing those books? What does it make sense for you to keep on doing those videos? What does it make sense for you to keep on uh, just traveling around and preaching? You're not really seeing any benefits. What does it make sense, Noah? But Noah was visited by God to do this assignment. And thank God for men who trust in the Lord with all their heart and lead not to their own understanding. When we begin to question God about what he says to do, whether it's building an ark or other things, and it may take longer than we think or we perceive, uh, if not careful, we can uh, dis get discouraged. So it's good to focus on why we do what we do. When we do what we do, not because of fame or notoriety or this or that, but because we are commissioned by God, spoke to by God. There's something on the inside that will not let us give up building this ark. It will not let us cast aside what we feel God has put in our hearts to do. So I'm encouraged today because I get a sense that God is remembering Noah today. Uh, Noah, you finished your assignment. You've come to a place where you have um, got everything uh, laid out and everything is just in place. And it's coming a time now where people are going to need what you have to offer. They're going to need what you have to offer. And we pray that uh, the door is still open to these souls. We pray for God's long suffering to abide with us for this moment that we're in, that souls can be gathered in to that ark. Somebody's ark may be empty today, but all the beauty, if there were only eight souls, you think what God can do with eight souls, he repopulated the whole earth with eight souls. Some says, how can this be? But if God can take two fish and five loaves and feed a multitude, praise God. God can do anything. If he can open up the Red Sea, he can do anything. He created you and me. He can do anything. He created the heavens and the earth. God can do anything. All things were made by him. Without him, not anything made was made. And he is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. So please don't be discouraged out there doing what you do. You may be making cookies for uh, those that are discouraged today. You may be running errands. You may be making phone calls. Uh, you may be in a powerful ministry of prayer. It's a powerful ministry of prayer. When you take time to pray for one hurting individual, praise God. That's so powerful. That's so wonderful. You may be making that phone call today for, to someone that's going through. Don't give it up. Don't stop. You know, God has a purpose in all that he has called you and put in your heart to do. So if you begin to look at what you do and you begin to estimate it according to the eyes of a, a popular opinion of what is saying that we can miss God, praise God. We can miss the moment because we are kingdom workers. We're not working for this world here. We're working for the unseen realm, for the kingdom of God, because we know that this heaven and earth will pass away, praise God. But the word of God will still be standing, and we want to be standing, praise God, with Jesus. We want to be standing on the Lord's side. And so continue to work and fight the good fight of faith. God is remembering you today. 
He is remembering you today. I get a sense that there are those that you have labored. You've given you all. You've done what you know to do. And you have done it sincerely. God is remembering you today. I get a sense when I think about um, the book of Esther and how the king couldn't sleep that night. He looked in the books and he saw that Mordecai, Esther's uncle, had done a great blessing for the kingdom. And he said, this man has not been rewarded. I get a sense that this is the day, this is the year that God is going to come through. He is going to reward you. God is coming through. He's going to encourage you like nobody can. God is going to affirm you like nobody can. There's nothing like having God to affirm you. And it may not be through who you think uh, should affirm you or, or could affirm you, but God has a way. And what we want to do is receive the affirmation of the Lord. We want to receive the blessings of the Lord. No matter how he sends them, they will come through and they will impact you for a lifetime. Praise God. So you've been encouraged today and have a great day. All right, I'm out of here.